So you got yourself a Ruko you want to open up, eh? This is a uh, Asa Ruko 2. This is the first one I've ever had. I just got this in the mail from uh, Christian along with a few others here. This is quite a lock. Very heavy duty lock. Uh, to give you an idea of the wild pinning that you can expect from uh, Ruko on these Ruko locks. Come on baby, focus. There you go. Six pinner. So you got a, quite a challenge there. These are not easy locks. So if you decide to open one of these, give yourself plenty of time because you're going to be there. Bring a lunch. They are key retaining and they're also, they use ball bearings to secure uh, the shackle. Just a super lock. Very happy with it. Uh, this is probably, these probably are going to all be keepers for me. Anyway, let's see if we can pick this thing. I, uh, again, I picked it earlier. I have not yet gutted it, but I did look at the screw, the special screw, and I'll show that to you. To uh, I got the screwdriver ready to do that when we get a chance here. All right. If we can get it open. <laughs> One Once is not a good sample size, I can tell you. All right. Here we go. Uh, all the way to the rear. I'm just going to apply a little bit of tension and see what we got. Get in there, you devil. There you go. A little bit of tension and just start feeling my way forward. Feels like pin five. I just set him. Just very gently eased him in place. Uh, when I picked this earlier, I've discovered that you kind of have to treat these things like serrated pins. Okay, felt like pin six there. Just the slightest of of false sets. And just like you do with the, the American series padlocks of 5200 and all of those is that you're just touching those pins as if they're serrated. Just giving them a little nudge. You never want them to click more than once. I'm not getting a lot of feedback from this lock. I have noticed or any of these Rucos for that matter. Okay, everything's springy. Come on, baby. Felt like pin four, and it looks like we lost our fault set though. Okay, that was pin five back. And there we go. All right, we got time. Let's go ahead and gut this thing. It's about, what are we at, three minutes here? Let's gut it and see what we've been fighting with. Um, all this junk out of the way. And we will need... This has a really weird star screw in there. I looked at it earlier and I found the right size. And luckily I had a security screw set. So let me see how tight that is. And then the core just drops out just like that, just like uh, a lot of the other locks uh, that we've dealt with in the past. And on the back of this one, again, we have these weird little star-shaped screws. And fortunately, in that same set uh, of security screws, I have one that fits. So I, I guess these are international and not metric. Okay, be a little bit patient. This I've never gutted this before, so let's go ahead and orient this thing. 
correctly. Okay. And find a core. And that looks to be about the right size. And let's just slide this dude out. There we go. There's your there's your six pins. You can see some counter milling in there and also some serrations in those chambers. So that explains the kind of the crunchy feeling we were having and the lack of feedback at least. Okay, we got a normal pin. Oh, sorry about that. Let me move that up a little bit. Normal pin. Normal pin. Normal. Normal. Okay, and this probably is a normal as well. Should be no surprise. Let's see if we can get a little bit better look now if I can get this thing to focus. Come on, baby. I think you can see the serrations inside of the cylinders there. And the counter milling. And let's see what we have here. Okay, it looks like a barrel pin. A little short baby barrel pin. Another same about the same thing. A larger barrel pin. Even a larger one looks like. Oops. And about a medium one. And that should be it for that. Alright, let's see if we can take a close look at this. Keep this as short as we can. Alright, there's what we're looking at. Um, we had all normal pins on the bottom, as I said. And then the real tricks, of course. We can zoom this out a little bit. And I hope you can see these little barrel pins. A lot of serrations to get caught up in the serrations in those in the core chambers. So that was probably what makes these Rucos such a challenge to open. So as I said, pack a lunch if you're going to try to open one of these things. Not impossible, but uh, it's going to take you a little time. Anyway, speaking of time, thank you for yours. Everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal.